Welcome back to the Donnie Rapture channel, where I always bring fresh, never before seen body cam footage. Today's body cam video takes place east of Peanut Island, and it picks up as Florida Fish and Wildlife officers have observed a vessel leaving the island with several passengers. Because this vessel is on state waters, he initiated a vessel stop to conduct a safety inspection. And remember guys, there's no probable cause needed. Put it in neutral, Cap. Put it in neutral. Put, put it in neutral, Captain. All right, let me see life jackets for everybody on board. Yeah, yes, sir. You sure when you come to the dock? No, I'm sure I want you to put it in neutral. All right, me neutral. Life jackets? Life jackets for everybody on board. Watch out. I have everything, just to let you know. According to the officer's report, the captain was slightly slurring his words and had red glassy eyes with droopy eyelids. He also reported that he could smell an unknown alcoholic beverage coming from the vessel. Two fire extinguisher, motor safety card, and the sound producing device. Verbal. Extinguisher, sound producing device. Only have one fire extinguisher. Okay. That one doesn't count because it's empty. It's not empty. It's not empty. I want you to look at the gauge. Tell me what the word says. It does say empty. So you have no other one besides that one? I can't argue about that. No. You need anything else? What was the other thing I asked for? Sound producing device, horn or a whistle on the boat? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let me get your license registration real quick. You can put the life jackets back. Okay, hey, do it for me. It's gonna be no, on 555. Five, five, one nine. November Romeo. East side of Peanut. Okay. Hmm? I didn't bring the registration today. Okay, you know you need to have the registration on board, right? 10 9, the boat type, and the 28 you got? How much have you had to drink tonight? Nothing. You have nothing to drink. Okay. The reason why I'm asking because one, you have glossy eyes, red eyes, and then you have slurred speech. Sir, I have glasses on. Wait. You just have glasses on now. You just put them on. What I'm going to ask you to do is perform what's called a field sobriety task to make sure that you're not impaired. I've asked you several times about different things and you couldn't remember what I was asking for. You have red bloodshot eyes. Okay. Now that you have sunglasses on, yes, you're right. I can't see them, but I saw them before. All right. You have a slight slur. It's like the odor of alcohol. So with those, again, you say you don't have it and you said you haven't drank anything. So this is your ability to show me that what I'm seeing is just sandbar. Okay. Just a good time with your friends on the boat. Okay. So I'll ask you again. All right, I'm going to ask you to perform what's called a seated field sobriety task, okay? It's going to determine if you're impaired or not, okay? Do we understand? I understand. Okay, take the glasses off. Well, what if I don't want to do it? Okay, so here we go. So if you don't want to do it, then what's going to happen? I just want to go no, over No, that's fine, that's fine. I'm, I'm here to educate you. If you don't want to do them, that's fine. So what I, that at that point, what I have to do is take the totality of circumstances, okay? Everything that has led me to you, interaction and everything in between, from your speech, your actions, your unwill, your unability, your inability to remember the things I'm asking you to do. Sorry, so, wait, 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 wait. And all of those things, I have to take all of those things into the thing, and then I have to make my decision on that if you're impaired or not. 
this shows this is your ability to show me that you're not impaired okay if not then you were and you don't want to do it which is your right and no, no wait wait let me finish okay. which is your right if you choose not to then i have to make my decision off of what i see smell and hear okay so with that said i'm going to ask you again will you perform seat field sobriety the only thing i'm saying to you is i saw you going back and forth looking yep. at our boat and mm -hmm. i feel like you're targeting me just because i have people on my boat no, not really. I stopped several votes today. So, I'm going to ask you again. Are you going to perform them? Are you breathalyzing me? That will be at the end of it if, if, if it is that arrest decision. But that that will be your ability to do it there if you want to do that. But I just don't understand why you're breathalyzing me. I don't want to do this. Like... I don't want to do this, but the indicators are there. So, it, again, it's your right to say no. If you say no, then I have to make my decision. <laughs> okay. okay. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it for you. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Do it for yourself. Did you just show I, me that you haven't had it? So okay, so take your glasses off for me. Sit to the edge of the seat right there. Scoot up. All right, feet flat. All right, all right. It's gonna be finger in the nose. All right, make a fist. Put it like this. All right, put them out to the side right here. All right, stay in that position while I explain the instructions. Don't move until I tell you to do so. Okay. All right. Okay. When I say begin, you're gonna close your eyes and tilt your head back, 45 degree angle. Okay. So it's gonna look like this. Okay. When I say begin, do you understand? Okay. Now. You're going to take the pad, I mean the, the tip. This is the tip of your finger right here. This is the pad. This is the sides of your finger, okay? You're going to take the tip of your finger and touch the tip of your nose. If this was your nose, it's going to touch just like that. Okay. When I say begin, you're going to close your eyes and tilt your head back, 45 okay. degree angle, okay? okay? As such, okay? You're going to stay in that position. Okay. And then I'm going to tell you to use either your left hand or your right hand, and you're going to use the tip of your finger. Okay. This is the tip. That's fine. This is the pad. This is the side. Okay. When you touch the tip of your nose, you're going to come back down and put it on the side again. On, on the side again. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. You got. Yeah. You got instructions. Okay. Okay. Not this day in that position. Okay. okay. Okay, guys, so I'm going to start tracking all the clues of impairment at the bottom of the screen. Every time the officer spots a clue of impairment, I'll put one little mug on the screen. Once the mugs start turning red, that, that's bad. That means that they're considered impaired. All right, let's go. Left. Go ahead and bring it down. Right. Go ahead and bring it down. Left. Go ahead and bring it down. Right. Go ahead and bring it down. Right. Go ahead and bring it down. Left. Go ahead and bring it down. Now right, you can go to open your eyes. You can, bring, you can, you can go over your eyes. Okay. All right, so now, next thing is going to be palm pad. The next task the captain has to do is the palm pad. Here's a clip of what it looks like because this officer is just filming his uh, sack. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And I just want to point out that this one looks pretty easy to do, but any more than two clues indicate impairment. So there's not a lot of wiggle room here. Begin. One, two, one, two, one, two. Right, go ahead and speed up. One, two, one, two. Go ahead and speed up. Go ahead and stop. The last test is the hand coordination test. And this one's a doozy. So here's another clip of the task being done properly by officers. One, two, three, four. Okay. The second task is to memorize the position of your fists after you've counted to four. You're going to clap your hands three times and return your fists to the memorized position. Like this. One, two, three. Back in Emron's position. The third task is to move your fists in a step-like fashion in reverse, counting out loud from five to eight, and returning your fist, your left fist, to your chest. Five, six, six seven, eight. Left fist is the center of the chest. The fourth task is to open your hands with palms down and place them on your lap. Do you understand? Do we understand our task? I think so, yeah. You think so? All right. Once you start, okay, don't stop. Continue doing it until you, until you, you feel your completion. Okay. All right? Do you understand? Alright, go ahead and begin. One, two, three. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. Want to show us that for me? Turn around for me. All right. Why? You're under arrest for operating. Yeah. Well, you know most faculty's aren't there. Not true. Okay. Fine, though. You did not perform well on the task. All right. I saw you. That's 54. Back I'm that heading to the. I'm heading to the boat ramp anyway. Sorry. I'm heading to the marina anyway, so I'm we're sorry. good. All right. Go ahead and walk onto the boat. You were going back and forth watching my boat. You were going to pull me over no matter what. I, I was pulling over every boat that was getting off the sandbar. That's not true. All right. So go ahead and stand over here. Step up. Okay. Sit down. We're going to sit down right over here. Take this out for you. Sit down. Okay. All right. So you have an eight-hour hold from... I know I didn't fail any of those tests. You just okay. pulled me over because I know, what you asked me. I didn't, I didn't fail right, any So they're not a test, they're a task, all right? And he didn't. He showed enough clues in the task. Bullshit. Okay, again, that's fine. All right, it's all been recorded as well, okay? Fine. So he, he doesn't have his memory, all right? His eyes were showing Bullshit. HGN, music okay? It's fine. There was no music playing. All right, I'll be in the court, it's all right. fine. Anyways, so you have an eight-hour hold from right now. So you, from right now... Eight hours would be four o'clock in the morning. You'll be able to be released on your own recognizance. Okay. What that means is, as long as you have no other other pending charges or you've never missed a court date, they'll let you go by yourself at four o'clock in the morning at Gun Club. That's fine. Okay. All right. Yes, I'm serious right now. All right. Um, okay. You have a chain on. You have a charm on this. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Hold this. All right. Do you stand up real quick? Go ahead and sit back down. The less you bring in, the easier you get out. Um, this vessel, where's it going? Back to my house. Okay. Who can drive the vessel? None of us can drive <laughs> No, you guys can do it. There's enough people. The people that need to be dropped off can get off, and then you guys take it home. You have your boater's license. You have your boater's ID? Yeah. Okay, let me see your boater's ID. Okay. All right. Do you want your so, cell phone so, or no? You I not just want, want to understand, like, so what? What's happening right now? Okay. So right now, so you, so right now, you're arrested for uh, BUI. Okay. okay. I it's, disagree it, with it, you. Though, that, that's you, listen. Okay. You, that's what the court's for. Okay. Okay. You show enough clues, not only with your actions, but also with the field sobriety task, that you are impaired. Okay. You feel you're not? We're gonna go to the jail. You have your time to chance there. All right. You can blow if you want. Okay. Now, so you like can't I said, blow him now? no. I can't. I just it, because it has, it has to be there. It has to be at the there. But he, he so like I said, he realizes that he's fine. Then they'll let him go. Oh, because he asked you. If, if they, you yeah, that's why I asked. No, that's fine. Like when we get there, you can do it. I'm not going to. Like right now, I, I, can't do, I can't do. I can't do you. I can't do it right now for you. Because like okay. all of us were just having a good I, I, day. I'm not. I'm not saying you didn't have a good boat day. But I there's saw a difference. you going back okay. and forth. Staring and, at us. and you saw me going back and forth through staring the front at us. and back. I'm not trying to so cause problems. Just trying to say I knew you were going to pull okay. us over. Okay. Right. Right. I literally told okay. everyone. I said, "Watch, this guy's okay. going to pull us over." Okay. So but then, then if, if that if that was the thing that you already knew that, then you shouldn't have drank. No, I just knew because you were watching. No, no. But if if that's what you thought was going to happen, you shouldn't have drank, and you should have been the DD today. What is that? Is that his phone? The first thing I I wasn't drinking. I knew you were going to pull us over. Okay. If you say he wasn't drinking, then when we get to the thing, you can. Like I said, you by can by telling people okay. that I was going to pull us over. The first thing he said to me was that he wasn't going to have any drinks because he yeah, was driving. Okay. That's I'm just the first curious. thing he said. That's fine, but that's if not I what happened. I told other people that okay. you're going to pull us over. Okay, that's fine. That? When, we, when, we get to the, when we get there, he can do whatever he needs to do. Fine. All right, let me get his. This is your. But eight hours, that's the minimum. Eight hours is, yeah. Minimum. Eight hours, they'll let him go. Cool. Okay, eight hours, they'll let him go. Don't even worry about it. All right, follow my finger. All right. Yes, sir. All right, so go ahead and get behind the helm. He knows how to drive the boat and everything, that's, too. That's fine, but he's impaired, so he's not going to be the one I'm driving impaired. the boat. Okay? So, like I said, if you're not confident in him driving the boat, we'll tie the boat off here, and then I'll get sea tow to come tow it. Okay, again, you can say what you want. <laughs> all right, I've already explained but could several have times about you. Come here and breathalyze him. Okay. No, it has to go to the. It has, he has to go to the jail. He is no matter what eight hours hold. If he feels that he doesn't, he's not impaired. That's what the court is for. Okay, there is nothing that like he's going to magically blow and get done. There's this, nothing right? that's going to solve this at this moment. Like All right, go ahead and back out, back out. No, back out first. Back out. No, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be fine. Put the, put the engines down. Put the, put the engines down. Engine down. Engine down. Down. You'll be fine. He has a jet ski, so that's why it's okay. And then now back. There you go. Okay, put the engines down more. No, no, not, not, not that, not that. There you go. All right, now turn the wheel, go forward. Forward, 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 forward. Whoa, whoa. Drive the jet ski, you don't know how to drive a boat. Do you not want him to have the boat? I can get a tow. Uh, I think you can get it home. I okay. Asked. That day, the captain was charged with boating under the influence and failure to provide a breath sample. He was also given citations for no fire extinguisher on board and no valid registration on board. If you guys love my content, make sure you hit that like button so YouTube recommends more of my content to you. And make sure you subscribe because I post three to four videos a week, guys. And you're not going to want to miss them because they're, they're better than whatever else. Whatever, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Thanks for watching, guys.